Hi, it's Nate from Hydolf, and today I'll be showing you how to set up the Hydolf Tuttenauer Sterilizer. In this case, it's going to be a 2340 EP, and that is an electronic version. If you're looking to set up a manual version, please consult that video. Now, the first thing you're going to do before you pull it out of the box is make sure the table is sturdy and level. For leveling it out, all you need is a level, toss it on there, and you'll see if you have a nice even surface. Once all that is set, you can actually get to setting up your unit. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the chamber and you'll see three trays. You can pull those guys right on out. Two of them will have holes. And one of them will be solid. You'll also find this tray holder. It's effective for pulling out trays when they're too hot to use your hands on. Now that those guys are out, what we can do is test the pitch of the unit. You're going to be doing this by, in this case, using 350 milliliters of distilled water. It'll be different based off your chamber size, however it's the same process, and you can consult your manual for that. Now to get the distilled water, we recommend purchasing a Tuttenauer water distiller. So for this test, you're also going to see this line right here, and to determine if the pitch is satisfactory. We're going to just make sure the water comes up right before that. So, going to slowly pour it out. And you'll see in our case, it is behind the line, so we're good to go. Now, most of the time, your unit will be fine straight from factory settings. But if something is up and your pitch is off, what you can do is you can lift the front of your unit up a little bit by adjusting the feet. So with the wrench and the bottom nut on here, you're going to turn it on both sides until it is raised just enough that your water is sitting right behind your line. Once that's good to go though, your pitch is all set and you'll know your water can fit inside your chamber. So from there you can just dump it on out. and then we can get to filling the reservoir now that we know the water will fit. So you're gonna pull off your reservoir cap and fill your reservoir with about three liters of water. The most accurate way to determine how much water goes in your reservoir is while pouring to look at the safety valve and make sure it comes up to just about an inch below the bottom of that. Once you have made sure on that level, your reservoir should be good to go. Now, another thing with the water in the reservoir is that after about a month, maybe faster, depending on how frequently you use your unit, it can start to get dirty, and we recommend draining it within that time. So to drain that water, you use the tube that comes with your unit, you slide it on this drain right here, twist it counterclockwise, and the water will start coming out. From there, you can just fill your reservoir back up. Now, you're going to toss your reservoir cap back on and close your chamber. And we can go right into plugging in your power cord. You'll find that's in the bottom corner of the unit. And then just plug the other side into an outlet. Now, once that's all good to go, you can flip the switch in the back, flip the switch in the front, and you're ready to start sterilizing. However, we recommend you do a dry cycle before you sterilize anything important, and we will show you how to do that, along with basic operation and maintenance of your unit in the following video. Thank you very much.